Where do Romanians really come from? For centuries, this has been one of Europe's greatest mysteries. Some say Romanians are the true descendants of the ancient Dacians, the fierce mountain warriors who once defied the Roman Empire. Others believe their roots go even deeper, tracing back to the first Indo-European settlers who walked the Carpathian Plains thousands of years ago. Now, for the first time, DNA is giving us real answers. And what scientists have discovered is truly shocking. So stay with me until the end, because we're about to uncover the hidden truths of Romanian DNA. But before we dive in, let me ask you a question. Do you think Romanians are the last descendants of the ancient Dacians? If you look at a map of Europe, Romania sits at a crossroads, between East and West, between the Balkans and the Carpathians. For thousands of years, armies have marched across this land, empires have fought for it, and cultures have blended within it. It's a place of continuity and of mystery. For a long time, even historians couldn't agree on the origins of the Romanian people. Some believed modern Romanians came directly from the Dacians, the local tribes that once lived here, fierce warriors who resisted the Romans with fire and steel. Others argued that after the Dacian Wars, Rome colonized the region so completely that the Dacians vanished, absorbed into the empire. And then there were those who believed both were true, that the Romanians were born from a union of conqueror and conquered. But how do you prove something like that? For centuries, historians argued over language, culture, and archaeology. The Romanian language, for example, is Latin-based, which seemed to confirm the Roman theory. But old folk traditions, spiritual beliefs, and even certain words trace back to a time far older than Rome, perhaps to the Dacians themselves. It was a debate that stirred national pride, political identity, and even regional rivalry. Were the Romanians the heirs of the Romans, spreading civilization to the wild frontiers of Europe? Or were they the children of the Carpathian soil, a people older than empires, still carrying the blood of the mountains? For a long time, there were no clear answers, until science began to look where history couldn't, inside the DNA of the people themselves. In the last two decades, genetics has quietly rewritten human history. Using DNA extracted from ancient bones, scientists can now trace population changes across thousands of years. And when they turned their attention to the Carpathian Basin and the lands of modern Romania, the results were stunning. Researchers gathered samples from across the region, from Dacian-era graves, Roman settlements, and early medieval cemeteries. They compared these ancient genomes to the DNA of modern Romanians, people living today in Transylvania, Wallachia, and Moldavia. What they found changed everything. The Dacians hadn't disappeared. Their DNA was still there, alive, continuous, and strong. When scientists looked at the genetic signatures, they discovered that most of the modern Romanian genome, over half, comes directly from local Iron Age populations. That means the people who lived here before Rome still form the foundation of Romania's gene pool today. In other words, the Dacians survived, not in ruins or legends, but in the blood of every Romanian alive today. The Roman colonists, it turns out, did leave their mark, but it was smaller than many expected. Genetic traces of Mediterranean ancestry do appear in Romania's DNA, particularly in the south and west, where Roman settlement was strongest. But rather than replacing the Dacians, the Romans blended with them. Over time, the two populations merged, culturally and biologically, creating something new. And what emerged wasn't purely Roman, nor purely Dacian. It was the beginning of a new identity called Romanian. Scientists also found smaller genetic layers from later migrations, Slavic tribes, steppe peoples, and other Balkan neighbors. But these influences are minor compared to the deep, continuous thread of local ancestry. The data tells a clear story. Across thousands of years, through wars, invasions, and empires, the people of Romania remained remarkably stable. Their roots go deeper than the Romans, deeper than the Slavs, deep into Europe's prehistoric past. To understand that past, we need to go back, long before Rome, long before the Dacians. 
because the story of the Romanian people begins with some of the first Europeans. Thousands of years ago, the lands that are now Romania were home to Neolithic farmers, people who came from Anatolia in modern-day Turkey, bringing agriculture to Europe around 8,000 years ago. They built villages, worshipped earth goddesses, and left behind some of the oldest pottery and figurines in Europe, like those of the mysterious Cucuteni Tripilia culture. These early farmers mixed with local hunter-gatherers, the first inhabitants of the continent. Later, they encountered newcomers from the eastern steppes, the Indo-Europeans, horse-riding tribes who brought new languages, tools, and myths. Out of this fusion, the Thracian and Dacian peoples emerged, the ancestors of modern Romanians. By the time of the ancient Greeks, the Dacians were already known as a powerful people, fierce, proud, and deeply spiritual. They lived in the mountains and valleys of what is now Transylvania and beyond. Their fortresses, like those in the Orushti Mountains, still stand today, built from massive stone blocks facing the sky like silent guardians of a forgotten age. The Dacians believed in immortality. To them, death was not an end, but a transformation. They worshipped Zalmoxis, a mysterious god of wisdom and rebirth, and they believed the soul could never die. It's a belief that still echoes in subtle ways through Romanian folklore and spirituality even today. When archaeologists study ancient Dacian remains, they find continuity in burial customs, pottery, and symbols that stretches unbroken for centuries. And now, genetics confirms what the artifacts always suggested, the Dacians didn't vanish. When Rome came, they resisted fiercely. The wars between Rome and Dacia were brutal. Monuments in Rome still show the emperor's triumph, but they also hint at the ferocity of the Dacian warriors. Their king, Decebalus, became a legend, his defiance immortalized in stone and story. When he finally fell, Dacia became a Roman province. The empire flooded in with settlers, soldiers, and traders, but many Dacians fled to the mountains, preserving their way of life far from Roman control. For centuries, history assumed they were wiped out or assimilated completely. Yet the DNA proves otherwise. They didn't vanish, they endured. The Dacian bloodline, mixed but never erased, flowed quietly through time, through farmers, shepherds, warriors, and families, until it reached the present day. In every Romanian face, there are echoes of that ancient people, the mountain dwellers, the sky worshippers, the first Europeans. But there's another side to the story, one that shaped not just Romanian genes, but its very language and culture. Because while the Dacians survived in blood, the Romans survived in words. When Trajan's legions conquered Dacia in the second century AD, they brought more than soldiers. They brought language, law, architecture, and a new worldview. Latin became the common tongue, and over centuries, it evolved into what we now know as Romanian. That's what makes Romania unique among its neighbors. Surrounded by Slavic and Uralic languages, Romanian still carries the rhythm of Latin, like a living echo of ancient Rome. So while the DNA remained mostly Dacian, the soul of the language turned Roman. It's one of history's most fascinating fusions, a Latin tongue spoken by the descendants of a pre-Roman people. But Rome's influence didn't last forever. After only 170 years, the empire withdrew from Dacia. Frontiers collapsed. Invaders came and went. Goths, Huns, Avars, Slavs. The Roman colonies were left behind, cut off from the empire. Over centuries, that legacy became part of Romanian identity. It's why the very name Romanian comes from Romanus, meaning Roman. It's a memory written not in stone, but in sound, every word a whisper from the ancient world. So, who are the Romanians? They are both, Dacian and Roman, children of the mountains and of the empire. For centuries, one question has haunted the history of Romania. Who were the Dacians, and what happened to them? The Dacians were a powerful people who lived in these lands long before Rome arrived. They built massive stone fortresses in the Carpathian Mountains 
and worshipped gods of thunder, fire, and earth. Ancient writers described them as fearless warriors, disciplined and proud, with a deep sense of spirituality. When the Romans conquered Dacia in the 2nd century AD, they left behind cities, roads, and their language. Many believe the Dacians disappeared after the Roman conquest, wiped out, enslaved, or absorbed. For centuries, it was assumed that modern Romanians came mainly from the Roman settlers who moved here. But DNA tells a different story. Genetic studies on ancient Dacian remains show strong continuity with the modern Romanian population. The bloodline didn't vanish, it simply blended. When the Romans left, the Dacian roots remained, quietly shaping the identity of the people who stayed behind. Today, more than 60% of Romanian DNA still carries markers linked to ancient Dacian and Thracian ancestry. The Roman influence was strong, but it layered itself over something older. This discovery changes everything. It means Romanians are not just the children of Rome, they are the descendants of one of Europe's most ancient civilizations, whose roots go back thousands of years before Caesar ever set foot in these lands. When Emperor Trajan defeated the Dacians in 106 AD, he turned their lands into one of the richest provinces of the Roman Empire. Gold from Transylvania filled Roman coffers. Roads, cities, and temples were built. Latin became the language of trade and government. Over the next two centuries, Roman colonists arrived. Soldiers, merchants, farmers, mixing with the local Dacian population. This blending of peoples created something entirely new, the birth of a Romanized Dacian culture. Even after the Roman Empire withdrew in the 3rd century, that Latin language survived. It evolved, generation after generation, into what we now call Romanian. It's a living echo of Rome, the only Romance language spoken in Eastern Europe. Genetic evidence supports this story. Alongside the Dacian markers, scientists have found strong traces of Southern European DNA, from Italy, the Balkans, and the Mediterranean coast. These came from Roman settlers and soldiers who intermarried with local women. It's one of history's most remarkable cases of survival. Even though the empire itself crumbled, the people it left behind carried forward its culture, its words, and part of its blood. That's why when you hear the Romanian language today, you're hearing a voice born from both mountain tribes and Roman legions, a mix that no other European nation can claim in quite the same way. After the Romans left, chaos swept across Europe. Barbarian tribes invaded one after another, Goths, Huns, Slavs, and Avars, leaving fire and ruin in their path. For centuries, historians thought these invasions completely changed the people living here. But once again, DNA reveals a surprising truth. Despite all the migrations and wars, the core genetic signature of ancient Dacian Roman people stayed largely intact. Archaeogenetic studies show that while new groups arrived and left their trace, the main population remained the same. The Huns and Avars came and went like storms. The Slavs stayed longer, leaving linguistic and cultural marks, but not replacing the people. The mountains and forests acted like a shield, protecting isolated communities through centuries of upheaval. By the Middle Ages, these mountain farmers and herders descendants of both Dacians and Romans, had developed their own language, traditions, and identity. They weren't fully Roman, nor fully Slavic. They were something unique. That's when the first records appear using the name Romanians, or Romani, people of Rome. They remembered their Roman connection, even after a thousand years. But now we know that behind that name was something deeper the blood of the Dacians still running through their veins. Modern genetics confirms that Romanians today share ancestry with both Southern Europeans and ancient Balkan populations. They are part Roman, part Dacian, part Slavic, a genetic mosaic formed by centuries of mixing and survival. It's a story of resilience, a people who faced conquest, invasion, and empire, yet never lost their core. Because even as the world around them changed, one thing remained constant, the deep, ancient roots that tied them to this land. The history of Romania itself, 
from ancient Dacian warriors and Roman settlers to Slavic migrants and modern Europeans. Every chapter has left its mark on the Romanian genetic code. If you've enjoyed this journey through the unique DNA of Romania, let us know in the comments. Have you taken a DNA test and discovered some Romanian roots? Or maybe you've always wondered about the origins of your family's dark eyes, olive skin, or Latin heritage. Share your stories. We'd love to hear them. And don't forget, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more content, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload. Thanks for watching, and la revedere. Goodbye for now.